What is up, Troubler Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keepstar. Let's get right into the news. Ladies and gentlemen, Jake Paul got swatted again. Again. Today, two police cars came to the Team 10 building. They got a report that someone was screaming inside that they were getting murdered. Now, a fellow YouTuber known as June Squad was live on the scene, and they have some footage. Roll it. I think I'm the only one that recorded the audio of them saying that they got calls about somebody screaming from the inside of the house. So they asked if they could go inside. Nick Crompton answered the door. He let them inside. And uh, we have a camera rolling up front to see what goes down. Okay, time out, time out, time out. As I'm filming this right now, Jake Paul got swatted again. Like right now, somebody sent in a false report that the Team 10 house was on fire and there are fire trucks in front of his house right now. That's right, you're hearing this correctly. Jake Paul has been swatted twice today. This is nuts. Jake Paul is getting swatted every day. But seriously, guys, if you are swatting Jake Paul, stop. Stop swatting him. You're not annoying him as much as you're annoying Jake Paul's neighbors. And they're going through hell. So stop swatting Jake Paul. Also in the news, this is huge. This is an absolutely big story. Breaking today, Logan Paul faked the scavenger hunt that he did at VidCon. Now, as most of you know, Logan Paul said he was doing a scavenger hunt, said he was gonna hide $3,000 in front of VidCon. And then when everyone was looking for it, when a crowd got there looking for that three grand, he came running through. Roll it. What's up guys? Did you guys watch yesterday's vlog? Are you looking for something in particular? Somewhere in here, somewhere in here. Are you, what are you looking for? You looking for something? Mm, I don't know, maybe. Maybe? Maybe. Maybe. He's predictable in the sense that he's unpredictable. That's a fact. Now that mob was insane, and some of Logan Paul's fans actually got hurt in that in that stampede. But here's the thing: video evidence came out today proving that the $3,000 was already found. And Logan Paul and his team knew this and still put out hints to get the crowd in front of VidCon so Logan Paul could run through. Here is the proof. Right here, you guys are gonna basically act like it hasn't been found. All right. Cause okay. we need, we need oh, it to okay. look like that sure, we didn't we find it before we got here. Right. Wait, uh, was it found yet? So, so if you guys check his story, I'm pretty sure he put up the first hint. So I'm gonna, what? <laughs> Okay, I didn't, he didn't post a story. He didn't post it yet. He's, he's, he hasn't posted it yet. He hasn't posted it yet. Wait, can I get a picture with you still? Okay, hold up in a second. Okay. Um, but when he does, I'm just gonna start filming again like I was, and you guys can like kind of pretend to look around. Wait, where's he gonna come out of? You guys are hearing this, right? The money was already found. Jake Paul's team is asking people to look for the money, even though it's not even there. And Logan Paul is about to give out hints where the money's gonna be at, even though they know that the money has already been found. That's unbelievable, Logan. I mean, like I said, some of your fans got hurt. Jasmine Diaz tweeted out, you hurt me at VidCon and now I hate you. I need to get stitches cause of you and I will never forget that day. Unfucking believable also in the news last night we talked about a huge fight between sniper wolf and phase banks basically sniper wolf was on a stream talking shit about phase banks's girlfriend alisa violet phase banks fired back on twitter they went back and forth if you haven't seen that video from last night make sure you watch it but one of the biggest things that phase banks exposed sniper wolf for is when he said this yo doug my guy phase sensor how many times did sniper wolf hit you up for that phase dick while she had a boyfriend Woo! All right, guys, if you don't know who FaZe Sensor is, FaZe Sensor is currently dating Yannette Garcia. And FaZe Banks made a claim 
that Sniper Wolf was trying to hook up with face sensor. Sniper Wolf responded by saying, wait, do people really think I was trying to get with anyone from FaZe? The other way around, kids. I've only been with one guy my whole life, sorry. Never secrets, flirted, slept with any guy but my man. I worked hard for everything I have and I didn't have to date my way up to success. Then when Face Sensor's current girlfriend, Yannette Garcia saw this, she tweeted out, stop sending messages to my boyfriend, respect our relationship. Then Sniper Wolf fired back with this, laughing my ass off, your boyfriend was texting me and trying to hook up with me before he made you famous. Nice ass implants, by the way. At least mine are real. God damn! Then Sniper Wolf said, I forgot the fake boobs, too. Nothing real about you. But then, Yannette Garcia tweeted out a picture of her boyfriend, Doug Sensor Martin, with the private DMs. All I could think of, it's 452, and I got the text to proof. Now listen, just for clarification, I hate Sniper Wolf. She's constantly lying, constantly false flagging people's videos constantly talking shit about people. But Doug Sensor Martin, on the other hand, he's a good dude. I trust him, and he sent me the leaked DMs, showing that Sniper Wolf was flirting with Face Sensor, calling him cute, and also talking shit about her current boyfriend, saying that she was in an abusive relationship and wanted to talk more. Oh, it's getting hot in here. Now listen, Sniper Wolf's current boyfriend is Sausage. They've been together for a long time. And FaZe Banks tried to DM Sausage to give him the dirt on his current girlfriend, Sniper Wolf. He tweeted at Sausage saying, Honestly, bro, I feel sorry for you. You want me to show you who your girl really is? We can talk about that. Best of luck with that. And Sausage responded by saying, Yeah, sure, hit me up. I would love to hear this. I've seen everything. Sniper Wolf, you have fucked up. You have talked way too much shit about people. You have lied too much. You have false flagged too many videos. Everybody is against you now, including your own boyfriend. And now for our final story, that famous, famous Instagram model, Christian Burns. I did, the, the shit never ends with this kid. I don't know if this is true or not, but yesterday, another YouTuber known as Bryce Hall tweeted out this. Christian Burns is literally trying to rob my house while I'm on tour. I've never heard of anyone more psycho. What is this fucking kid on? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you are subscribed here on Drama Alert with notifications on. You don't want to miss the news. You don't want to miss this story that we're working on right now. It is big and a follow-up to Jake Paul. Oh my God. If you enjoy this video, make sure you slap a like on it. I don't have a Patreon. I'm not going to ask you for donations. All I want in return is a like. Drum Alert Nation now over 2,160,000 subscribers. Christian Birds literally tried to rob another YouTuber's house. What the fuck?